going to show you how to sweat solder two pieces of sheet metal on top of one another. So I'm going to put the brass on top of the copper. Um, and I just have two discs here just to show this. So I want to make sure my metal is clean and um, at least sanded or steel wool. And then I'm going to flux both pieces. Okay, and then I'm going to um, cut some solder. And you can actually do, I think I'll, I'll demonstrate stick soldering for this. So I'm going to actually leave the solder on the wire. I'm not cutting a piece off, but I'm going to hold it a few inches away so that I don't burn myself. You don't want to hold it close to the end. It gets really hot. But if you hold it about three inches away from the end of the wire, it should be fine. So the process is I'm going to heat the piece and I'm going to kind of melt this um, as I'm heating it with the torch so that I'm coating the back of um, the piece that's going to get flipped over and put on top of the other, the larger piece. So I'm going to show you that one. Try, try, try. So I'm just heating the smaller one. And then the metal starts to get hot and the flux um, goes white. I can start putting my solder on there and it will start to kind of melt around. And like that. And that's good. So the idea is to get, hopefully you can see that, the idea is to get a thin coating of um, silver solder melted onto the surface, which looks good. Um, and then I'm going to just pull this off. And then I'm going to flux it again. And I'm going to flux my other piece again, just in case. Um, and then I just need to flip this one upside down now. Okay, so it's coated with the solder. I'm going to flip it over, place it wherever I want it to be. I'm going to have it kind of maybe offset a little bit. Something like that. Um, and then a really good way to do this, especially on a larger piece, is to actually put it up onto the tripod. So that I just can. Okay. 